what is secondary hyperparathyroidism and how do you address it, how do you diagnose it? I'm Dr. Bob Ackerman, I'm from Center for Advanced Parathyroid Surgery. Secondary hyperparathyroidism happens when your parathyroid glands are forced to produce more parathyroid hormone, not because there's a tumor or inherently something wrong with the parathyroid, but in reaction to something else. So in a normal parathyroid environment, your parathyroids, these four glands, are looking at the level of calcium in your bloodstream, right? Only in your blood. Now, 1% of the calcium in your body is in your bloodstream, 98% is in the bones, and 1% is in the tissue, muscles, nerves, and so on, right? So in a normal parathyroid environment, when your calcium is low, your PTH is high, which goes to your bones and tells your bones to release calcium, goes to your kidneys, says, filter out calcium, don't let it go so easily, it'll put it back in the bloodstream, and activate vitamin D so that vitamin D that's activated can go into your intestines and improve the absorption of calcium from 20% to 80%, and also suppresses the parathyroid glands. So there's all sorts of feedback loops controlling the parathyroid system. When you have secondary hyperparathyroidism, something causes this gland to overproduce PTH. Majority of times it's caused by either kidney failure, well, the most commonly known version of it is if your kidney fails, you're on dialysis, so you're not only not filtering calcium out of the blood, but also phosphate. In addition, you're not activating vitamin D from this inactive form to its active form. So therefore you're not absorbing a lot of calcium, you're only absorbing 20% of the calcium from your bloodstream. And so your calcium in your blood stays low, your PTH goes up to try to counteract it, but it's not successful because part of the system is not functioning. Another reason may be vitamin D deficiency. So if you don't have a lot of this, you're not gonna be making a lot of that. And again, your absorption of calcium will stay low and therefore the PTH keeps going up. Other reasons for that besides vitamin D deficiency and kidney failure are low calcium intake, low magnesium, um, malabsorption. So if you have celiac disease and truly can't absorb uh, and have inflammation in your intestines, therefore you're not absorbing a lot of things. Some medications do it. And this condition called renal calcium leak where your kidney's leaking out calcium. So your PTH goes up in response to it. All of these have treatments for them. Um, and so you, you have to have someone work up for you what the reason for you having secondary hyperparathyroidism is and, and help you get to that treatment. If you're interested in clear parathyroid information, visit us at parathyroid.net.